Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's weekend, guys. Oh, actually, it's not daily analysis. It's weekly. So what's really happening? Uh, firstly, we have to check our economic news and see what's really happening. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's really happening. Um, let's open. Let's open forex factory anyways it's still taking time so while it's still taking time guys uh, as i was going to talk uh, tell you about okay it's opening uh, forex factory calendar i we have to know what will happen what do we have this week that we can actually check so let's see let's see let's see let's see uh, i can see that we have okay on monday today's sunday you can see here so today it's monday we uh, sorry tomorrow it's monday we don't have anything uh tomorrow uh, another day which is tuesday nothing also wednesday uh it's nzd i don't think we're going to check that so on thursday we have cpi we've been waiting for a uh, for cpi for quite some time and we know very well that cpi does move very nice right so we're going to check that and also unemployment claims i think we're gonna go on our live session so on friday actually we have only one important economic news this week which is cpi the other ones is just gdp uh core ppi uh, not really that important so the one which is going to be important it's on thursday half past two so don't say uh, don't say i did not tell you uh, about that so what's really happening actually so since we are still on the news let me tell you something if you still remember last week we took some losses here and there but uh just while we are still on those economic news i just want to say actually do you understand how to trade fundamentals if you understand fundamentals i think you are on the safe space when you are a trader so technically it's good guys but sometimes you can take some losses here and there but on fundamentals you can still do the same thing but the different is when you go into trade fundamentals there is some losses and also some big wins it means if you took some losses on the technical side and you also uh, mix that with fundamentals you can actually not see your losses that much because when it's time like on thursday we're going to focus on i'm going to focus on you uh, on core cpi so i'm just going to trade only the news not the technical side and from those big spikes i can make something then once the market is very slow then i can go back on my technical let me tell you something it's easier to make money on fundamentals than technical you see so i hope you understand that so you can, you have to mix the two sometimes your technical uh, strategies might some weeks they might not work or the market might be reacting in a certain way but have a backup you can still focus only on fundamentals and still make more and still you can lose along the way you see so that is something that uh, may, i wanted to tell uh, to tell or to, to, to update you about stop that thing of saying oh i only t trade technical i don't trade fundamental or i have only trade fundamental i don't take hey still still trading it's still trading plan your things understand the fundamentals or have a strategy that you're gonna use on on on, on technical and fundamentals don't say hey, i don't trade fundamentals i trade technical one two three it's funny because it's trading still trading and we still need money anyways without wasting your time there yes there are so many strategies that you can use but the simplest one that i know which is i think is not really allowed but i'm not going to mention on which broker but what i'm what i'm gonna say is if you are like seriously in need of money and you know when the news are coming out but you don't know what to do you can have those two accounts uh, i'll say account one and account two you see where i'm going right so on the other account which is simple you can buy and sell on different accounts obviously the other account will be gone will be blown and the other account will make some cash most likely you can triple whatever or make it 
it depends on how the market will be moving you see sometimes the market doesn't really move nice then you lose everything both accounts or if maybe you know how to trade things or if you know the tra the directions you can just focus on buying only when if you show you that the market will be going in that direction or you can sell if you show that the market will actually be selling if you are not sure you can still make money you can buy and sell but you're gonna lose you're sacrificing one account simple as that it's not actually a secret i'm plugging you so take that uh you should use that right so so that you don't really have to come here crying and say oh i lost hey one two three we lose along the way along during the weeks but we know that four times five times i'm going to get my money back okay so uh, before we continue here is the specials that we have guys you can just join the team you can see it's lifetime signals signal indicator or prime ea just whatsapp me if you want uh, one of those you just pay once then you're done so now 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 let's go back on our chat we started with euro usd on four hours time frame and it's sunday so which means we are trying to look what might happen or what happened what happened actually is the market was still on an uptrend you can see that the market was pushing up very nice guess what the market broke out and let me just zoom there let me just zoom there so that you can see please guys if you are new to this channel just don't forget to smash that subscribe button i saw that 80 percent of people who are watching my channel they are not actually subscribed and it's so very sad guys it's sad so please if you are not subscribed don't forget to smash that subscribe button so what's really happening is the market was pushing uh, to the upside very nice we saw a breakout guess what the market is now pushing up again so we did have a buy pending order but on friday i did not actually trade so we had a buy pending order it was in a very nice profit i see that on top here as you can see there is this resistant the market actually touched this resistant it seems like the market will be going lower so now we have two options since we we had we, we we bought it means this area actually for now we're going to wait and see if maybe the market will be going back you can see the market is already selling we will wait and see if maybe the let me just remove this thing we did smash that they did smash i did not actually take any trade so the thing is we're gonna wait and see if maybe the market will be coming back here again this might be the formation of another downtrend but we are still playing with the support here so if it breaks this structure then we're gonna say now the market is pushing to the upside that might be a sort of a wedge structure so this area here it will be a sort of an adjustment something like that when we say the market sometimes sometimes changes the moves this stuff, they were not actually happening that much few years ago. But now the market breaks out. You think maybe the market is going to go down. Boom, the market is going up again. So stuff like this, they were not actually happening that much. But I think it was because also of NFPs and they also credit ratings that we got uh, from the US and stuff like that. So, so much stuff going on uh, in this eco uh, in this world so now we are on gold precious metals precious so precious yeah so what's really happening uh we can easily see that my my computer doesn't it's not performing nice today something is not good with my pc so but what's really happening something is not happening okay okay let me just go on a daily time frame i just want to see what's really happening so as you can see the market is still actually pushing to the upside the market is still pushing to the upside we call this uptrend for those who don't know but for now i think maybe you already know you can see that the market is pushing to the upside and the market actually did touch our support area so i'm expecting the market to do what to keep pushing up as long as the market is not breaking out of this support area it means i will be looking for what for the market to keep pushing to the upside so what i can do here is to go here and try to get to understand what's really happening i think there is something i think there is something do you see that okay 
I see something like that also. So there is this resistance on top there. Let's go on for hours time frame and see what's really happening. You can see on top here we have that resistance. It's fine. But the market actually on the other side is just moving away from this support area. We had a buy pending order. The market was in a smaller profit. But now it's back again because the market is creating some crazy moves. But with this structure, with this structure, maybe you can see something. Someone can say Kenzo Mara. You don't see this mar because I also start to see that. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. I see something. You see this area, and I don't know if this will make sense. Let me go back. I think you see that the market is creating something like this. It seems like we're having a nice downtrend. But this downtrend is actually pushing towards the support area. So I hope you can see that. I hope you can see that. I see that, uh, but I did not wa actually want to have multiple lines on the chart. So what I can say is we have a resistance on top, and it seems like the market is just coming away, going away from the support. I'm expecting the market to push the upside. So our take profit was around this area. So which means if the market breaks this resistance, now we will simply say you know what it's, it's now we can breathe and take that buy to the upside but for now even if we take that we're taking it because we are running away from the market is just bouncing away from that support so it's not like maybe uh, we have to hold that long we have to hold it but we still have this resistance this resistance is still floating around so we have to respect that actually it's a wedge structure a sort of a triangle structure because on the bottom side we we also have uh we also have this support and on top we have this resistance so we have to play around uh, that area and also very safe so when you one when you buy know that there is a resistance here as you can see the market did push lower the market pushed lower every time it reaches that area so there is a chance for the market to do the same thing and push lower if it doesn't really break but remember uh, we have CPI, CPI on, on Thursday. Things might change. Things might change. So now we are on US 30. US 30, what's really happening on US 30? The market was pushing to the upside. Very nice, by the way. The market was pushing up. We were on a very nice uptrend. And guess what? We had a very nice buy. We were in a nice profit. Boom. Before the market closed, the market is now pushing lower. So what I see here is the mark. Let me just go on a daily time frame because we need to see the bigger picture. We need to see the bigger picture, guys. So since the market is still actually the market is still don't worry. The market is still actually on a nice uptrend. But it seems like this trend now. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> the market is still on a very nice uptrend. But. It seems like the market is now trying to do what? To bounce back before maybe we see this push. I We did have a sell pending order, but the market actually pushed up again. And we ended, we ended up having that uh, buy, which was great. But now the market is just aggressively pushing lower again. This is what I was talking about yesterday on that video that I was saying. 20, I think 20 points to help you to succeed actually in the market from novice to, to a pro or from novice to a ninja, you can go check that video. So what's really happening, you can see that, yes, the market was pushing to the upside very nice. But after the market was pushing up aggressively up like that, we can see that the market took time to reverse. We don't actually have enough reversal. So I think it's possible for the market to reach this point here before we see a nice push. It's possible. And we start to see that. But unfortunately, that happened the time the market was closing. So we're not actually in the market. Plus, I wasn't ooh, I wasn't even trading on, on Friday because I took some losses. But I know I'm going to recover everything uh, on my or, or on, on with, with CPI. So on a daily time frame on Nasdaq, we are now on Nasdaq. You can easily see that yes, the market on a bigger time frame, we still actually on a very nice uptrend. But since the market pushed up like that, we never had a nice rejection. 
the market has been flying so that rejection never happened that much so let me draw uh, this double lines tomorrow we're going back to work we're going back to work guys we're going back to work and i'll be here uh, to assist so if you want daily analysis i'll be here so on the daily time frame we can see yes the market is still pushing up so the best thing is let's go on a four hours time frame just to see what's really happening just to see what's really happening what's really happening you can see yes that the market is still on a very nice uptrend yes the market tried to push the upside we had another counter trend line or inner inner support actually the market was showing us that you know what maybe it will push the upset so the market broke out tried to play around this area lucky enough we actually recognized that hey we had an area there as a support and we also looked into that now the market created something there as a support so what are we going to do we're going to just take it here so it's a breakout but the market came back again around that level so now our job is to do what is to see if maybe the market is going to break out if it breaks out obviously we're going to look for that sell then i think the market will be going towards 14800 there 14900 14800 around this area around this area or maybe even 15000 maybe the market wa will push after the breakout the market will actually go around those zones maybe before we see some other push to the upset i hope you see that i hope you see that i'm talking this on nasdaq but if not there is a chance that maybe the market is just uh retesting here maybe the market is just adjusting that maybe the market might bounce back again that can also happen so before we, we finish this don't forget that guys we have a nice special that you can still join a uh, system indicator prime ea lifetime signals which you just pay once so uh, i said something guys uh, let me see the time we're still on 17 is fine guys take this serious if you trade in technical and sometimes you struggle with that it's fine to struggle but just try to learn but the best thing that you can do just to recoup your money very quick i think is via or through fundamental fundamental can do that very nice uh, for you if you understand what you're doing you can try to risk something there but not risk everything risk the money that you afford to risk then i think you can recoup something from 300 i always show my videos sometimes here from 300 or from 200 or from 500 you can go from 300 to 1.4 you can make from 300 to make thousand very easy but it's also risky so it means you can recoup very quick so if the amount is bigger obviously the results will be bigger the opposite will also happen if you lose you lose but mostly when you lose you're gonna lose that smaller amount right so but the thing is brokers they don't really like this type of strategies that we use if we but we don't actually have any choice i know it's hard to make money on uh, technical actually because sometimes you just need that va -va -voom for a few seconds then you make quick cash then you out you go back to your normal trading so anyways thank you very much guys this is kenzo extra out forex don't forget to smash smash that subscribe button like share with your friends guys we are going towards 10,000 subscribers maybe the end of this year we will reach that uh, but it will be because of you if we don't really, really reach that maybe it's gonna be next year we don't know so anyways thank you very much this is kenzo extra out forex we'll see you actually tomorrow please smash that subscribe button bye